All right. The next step to look into is the concept of of the ROS master or ROS core and nodes and topics and how all of these elements interact with each other. Uh, with a ROS system, there needs to be a, a master node or a, a ROS core that helps with um, was organizing all the the other nodes in the system. It's uh, every time a, a node is started up, and in Rust, nodes are units that do the actual processing of data. Every time a, a new node is uh, launched, it is registered with the Rust master, so it, the Rust master always knows which nodes are present in the system. Uh, the Rust master also keeps track on. Uh, who sends out information and who should receive uh, information from other nodes and so on. And the way messages are, p are sent around uh, in the form of a publisher subscriber uh, system, we'll get into in, in just a moment. Usually we launch the Rust master using the Rust core command. So when you interact with Rust, you usually do it from the command line, and uh, a few commands we will look into um, will be the the following: the Rust core, which which starts up the basic uh, elements of the system. Then we can launch individual nodes using Rust Run. We can uh, get an overview of the things of all the pieces of information that can be sent around between nodes using Rust topic. And finally, we can save this information to a file for later inspection using the Rust back uh, command. So uh, a few examples on, on how exactly to, to use this uh, Rust core. It's just to launch it, and then it uh, provides uh, the service in, in the background. Then if you want to, to launch a node, for instance, uh, a node that processes uh, LIDAR data, you might have a node named uh, letter underscore VU8, which has a, a executable file uh, inside with uh, the same name that can be launched using Rust Run. You can also connect a webcam and then launch a, a node that is able to, to deal with a webcam and provide some information to that. Um, and finally, there are different uh, Rust packages, Arvis in this case, that can be used for visualizing data. Um, and the last command here, the Rust pack, enables you to recall all information that is being sent through Rust. In the case of, of Dealing with image data, it can be a quite large amount of data, but uh, it makes it possible to do an experiment once and then uh, adjust your algorithms and then test it again on, on the exact same set of data as uh, the last time you tested it, which is a very nice setup for, for doing stuff. So to pass information around in uh, ROS, um, we can take a, a closer look um, on here. We have the ROS master that keeps a track of which nodes are present. Then we launch a camera node. It will be registered with the ROS master. So the ROS master now knows that there is a camera node and that this camera node will publish data on the image data uh, topic with a certain type of uh, message type that contains uh, image data. <coughs> and there will also be an image processing node. And when that is launched, it will also be registered at the Rust master. Um, that uh, subscribes to the, the messages from the camera node by listening to, to this topic. And it's implemented by, by sending a request to the camera node that Rust um, uh, the text and then ensures that data flows in, in the right direction afterwards. The source of data for the camera node is from outside ROS, where you have a camera connected to it via a USB connection or something else. 
Um, this is a concrete example of how data flows around inside ROS. So for this setup using ROS topics, um, the publisher that the, the generator of data decides when data is sent and subscribers receive data uh, as soon as they are available. Um, and you don't need to decide you want to publish data and to su subscribe to data uh, at the same time. So you don't need to make a handshake uh, to, to set up this kind of, um, of system. You can start a system and then later launch a new node that, that listens to, to some of the data. So it's an asynchronous uh, way of, of transferring data. And there can be four different uh, usage patterns for, for this. You can have a single node that passes information on to exactly one node. You can have one node that passes information onto many nodes. You can have a single node that collects information from many nodes, and you can have many nodes that publish information to a topic that many other nodes or many nodes uh, listens to. So, to conclude this part, we should start on looking into the topics and the messages that can be uh, passed around inside Rust. And for that, we'll try to, to do this uh, small exercise. Give it a try and, and see how far you go.